up? Welcome to Live Mixing, baby. Happy, happy Friday to all you fine people out there. Happy January 10th. 10 days in already. Think things are still looking okay. I realize I haven't eaten anything at all today. Which is not good. Don't be like me, don't eat. Don't be like me and don't eat. That's bad. Eating is good. All right. All right. Today, we're chilling. We're going to be mixing. I don't know what we're mixing as per usual, but uh, I'll leave that up to y'all. I have some hardware that I got in uh, that I want to chat about. We can, we can take a look at some hardware. I haven't, I haven't even, I just opened it like right before the show. So we're going to have to build this aroma miser. And um, I got the Sigeli Humvee in too. And I'll explain why, but I haven't dug into this one yet. This product looks pretty cool. Um, there's a few other things that I wanted to get. I haven't ordered them yet. But uh, I kind of wanted to ask you guys your, your opinions on them before I do order them. Um, and then we'll get into some mixing. I probably shouldn't touch my face because I have to touch these coils. Which is not good. It's still. It's probably gonna taste like shit. I might have to wash my hands before. Um, we got a fuse clapped in. Hopefully, this fuse clapped in can fit in here. Let's just start building, dude. Let's just start building. I want to get into this aroma miser. I hear good things about it. It's by Steam Crave. They didn't send it to me. I had to purchase it myself. Um, but I hear good things about the aroma miser. I got the. I had the old aroma miser. The one that had like a rubber band around the ring and it was uh you use like this rubber band to control the airflow it was terrible it was terrible but the tank was pretty good other than that terrible idea the tank was not not bad at all uh and then i see that they released a, a new one the aroma this is the aroma miser light 1.5 and um yeah i am not exactly sure what the differences are between that and and some of the other ones uh, let me turn off these notifications. Um, so we'll figure that out. There's lots of little goodies in here, which I remember being part of the original. I remember the original Aroma Miser being quite over-engineered, to say the least. It had a lot going on in its tank. But that seemed to be par for the course for, like, mouth-to-lung, direct-lung RTAs at the time. Like, the k 5 was around that same time. Maybe, maybe there was the four or the three around that same time. I can't quite remember. But uh, those are all over-engineered products. The scrapes. I don't know if you guys have ever used a scrape, but Jesus Christ, those things are crazy, man. Crazy. So much, so many moving little parts in there. Probably cost a million dollars to manufacture. <laughs> They're actually kind of affordable for what they were, to say the least. They did. I think they did sell a good, a good lot of them, too. Um, all right. Um, yeah, so let's get into some, uh, let's just, let's just start building this thing. You guys want to see like some of the little goodies that come with it? You get a couple tank sections. I'm going to keep the original one on. There's a lot of stuff in here and I have, I haven't looked at any videos about it. I don't really like to do that stuff. Ooh, another drip tip. We got two drip tips here. This one's a lot wider. There's a really tight one and a really wide one, which, uh, I don't know if you guys can see the hole. So there's the wide one. And then you have this like really tight one. You guys know which one I'm going to use, right? You already know which one I'm using. So you got two drip tips. From what I can see, I don't see any other drip tips. It looks like you have some sort of uh looks like some sort of I don't know what this is. Some sort of uh they're like little plastic reducers or something. Maybe maybe they're just like extra tank space uh space. I don't know. We'll see. No, these definitely look like reducers. There's holes in them. Yeah, these are these are airflow reducers. Interesting. So you can even further reduce down the airflow. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I need an RTA though, and I've, I've been told the aromamizer is a good choice, so I said, let me get the one that's the newer one. Um, nice little felt-lined box. 
You can always appreciate a felt line box. I'll always appreciate a felt line box. You get a user manual. Very nice. Okay. All right, so we are Aroma Miser family. We are now Aroma Miser family. Uh, Aroma Miser Light RTA, Supreme V2 RDTA, Aroma Miser Plus RDTA, Aroma Miser Titan RDTA. Whoa, the Titan looks pretty cool. It's a little tiny guy. All right. Yeah, one cool thing. Okay, I can see. I see here. One cool thing um, <clears throat> about this is that it comes with like two chimney options. So you can plug this part in, which is like a chimney. It's just like a chimney. It like just kind of slams down the airflow and it just fits in like an O-ring or like a uh, drip tip. And that's pretty cool. And I'm thinking I might leave that in. It, they say it's meant for mouth to lung, but I was dragging on it before and it didn't seem that that restrictive. I mean, it's kind of like it's kind of like how I like my direct lungs. I like a restrictive direct lung, which which I didn't know was restrictive until I saw some people's RDAs, and I was like, "There's <laughs> there's absolutely no <laughs> restriction whatsoever in this in this dude's RTA or RDTA." Oh, it looks like they give you an extra tank. So you get an extra tank section, and then you get a bubbled belly tank section as well. <laughs> oh my God, you cleaned your scale? Nah, it's not clean, that's just the cap. <laughs> it's That's just the cap, my dude. You can't clean it, it doesn't clean. I don't know, I, I might need some sort of like cleaning, some sort of like industrial cleaning uh, solvent to clean it, because they're like burns. All right, and then you get some extra. All right, that's enough of that. So let's break this bitch down. And then this pops out almost like a coil head, see? Which is pretty cool. But it doesn't look like there's a lot of room. And I asked the guys on the, uh, I asked the guys on the, uh, Facebook group what how I should build it and they said just be just watch out because there's not much room But they said they fit fuse Clapton's in there So we're gonna have to do some ex we might have to do a couple builds here, which might be a problem actually Um, One thing that I don't like about these sort of things is like you have to hold it to to build it unless hold on. I guess I could just screw it in Yeah, I guess I could just screw it in one of these. Hopefully it doesn't clamp down too tight. Um, no, I think it is top fill. Yeah, it is top fill. You just fill through the top. It's not like one of those cool, like, you know, little slots, it is a you do have to unscrew something but it is top fill yeah if you're if I'm frozen to you I don't know what the fuck's going on with YouTube these days if I'm frozen you might want to head over to twitch my twitch link is in the description um, I tried to reduce the I, I mean I fixed some things that hopefully you guys are good That's a tiny deck for fuse Clapton's. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try to squeeze something in there. Yeah, I don't even know if this this is a three millimeter. I don't know if that's gonna fit. <laughs> it is tiny. It is tiny. How much like headspace do you got? Not much. I might have to look and see how to build this thing. Because I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit in there. It's hard with this camera. 
I apologize. It's hard to do this stuff live. I don't like blocking shit with my fingers. You think that'll fit in there? Yeah, it's gonna be pretty tight. Well, let's just see. Maybe it'll tell us how much room we have. Oh no. This might be a little too short. So what I like to do with these sort of things is like get it as short and tight as possible and then use my screwdriver to kind of stretch it out. We'll see. Are you guys freezing over on Twitch? Probably not, right? Let's see if this fits. So I got it like, I don't know. I don't know if that's gonna fit. It seems to fit. I can't quite see. Can I open it any other way? No, I think we're good. I think we're good. Wow, that's a big old coil too. How do I take this tank off? You see how many pieces there are? Jesus. Does this part come off now? Yeah, we're good. We have plenty of room, actually. You could fit a big fat coil in here, actually. I don't know if you can tell, but there's a big, it, there's a, it's actually pretty big of a chamber, which might be an issue with, uh, flavor it seems like aroma miser what their their plan is to choke the airflow as soon as it comes off of the coil so not like the citadel where everything is choked down this is like let's give you some room to, to kind of build the vape up and then we're going to choke you out through the coil and then through the drip tip and i'm curious to see how that plays out but there there's plenty of room in here it's not touching anything not even close so that's pretty good that's that's good to know if you're look if you're worried about, you know, your build, I don't think you have to worry with this. This looks like it can fit some big coils. So that goes on. I mean, I guess like the fat tank is kind of in these days, right? Let's just see what it looks like. Let me see. Oh shit, see? You gotta make sure you keep the O-rings on these fucking things. Or you will leak. I saw, oh, I also saw leaking issues. Some people have leaking issues with this.
That's the that's the fat tank. That looks a little silly. I don't know. I'm uh, I'm not a big fan of the fat tank. I'll stick to the regular tank. I mean, what do you get? Like an extra half a mil, you know? Maybe an extra mil? Um, Mom, I want a vape. What am I doing wrong here? What am I missing? Oh, so many, so many things, dude. So many components. Wait, what is this? Oh, this is the bottom, okay. All right, so this goes in like that. The airflow reducers go into these slots here. And you could choke it down to, to like really, you could really choke it down. I'm not gonna do that. I didn't buy it to become a mouth to lung device. What we will do though is put it on our new Humvee mod. Have you guys seen this mod yet? You guys know I'm a big fan of the Aegis, uh, what is it called? The rubber one, this bad boy here. The Legend, is it the Aegis Legend? Um, I like the, the these durable mods, mainly because I break my mods all the time for some reason. I don't know if it's leaking, getting into the buttons, or if it's just that, I don't know, maybe I break a lot of things. Well, that's a cool little unboxing experience. Kind of open it like that. This is kind of nice. Oh my God, it's a beef dog. That's a big boy. Ooh. Nice click. It's almost like a thud. It's like, it's not like a tick, tick, tick. You know what I mean? It's a nice click. Let's hear some of the other buttons. Okay. No rattle. No rattle at all. Um, yeah, it's got like a matte rubber finish. Uh, matte rubber. It's got like a rubber finish just like the Legend. Except this is way beefier. Where the Legend is a little bit more angular. And I kind of like this one feel wise a little bit better it just forms your hand a little bit better it does seem to dig in your knuckle right here what do you guys think of that paint job i don't know i kind of thought it was cool wait a second i didn't order the blue whoa 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Element, 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 element. So I got these from Element Vape. This might be the second time I've had issues with Element Vape. And uh, this is the blue camo. I didn't order the blue camo. I don't know if you guys can see that. I ordered the camo khaki, which is the brown camo. It's like brown and green. It looks like a military mod. So I might have to I might have to put a complaint in. Why do I always have problems with vape companies? There's always issues. What do you guys think of the paint job though? Do you like the camo look? I think it's kind of cool. I mean, the blue's okay. It's not bad. It looks good on camera. It looks okay. This is like the snow blue. The camo is a little drippy. It's not like the digital camo. Uh, and this camo doesn't match at all. Whatever this part is. I'm not sure why like it's like that. But I don't know. I think it looks pretty cool. Shout out to Twitch. Everyone who's switched over from YouTube to Twitch, let me know if you guys see any if you see any issues. I'm thinking it's just a 
a Twitch problem or a, tw a YouTube problem. How am I supposed to? All right, let's get some batteries in here. I mean, this is very, very similar to the, oh, the screen is on the side. So that's something to, to make note of. The screen's here on the side. Point 0.5 increments, which I'm okay with. Some people don't like that, but I'm okay with it. I can see a little pulse with modulation going on. I don't know if that's just my eyes playing tricks on me. It seems to like kind of stutter a little bit. Mom, I want a vape. Hey, thanks for the follow. Thank you for the follow. The button feels good though. Mom, I want a vape. Hey, thank you for the follow. Everyone following over on Twitch. Thank you, thank you, thank you. No lag. Good. Yeah, Twitch is far, far superior with live. It looks way better, too. I don't know why. I don't know why YouTube's... You, you'd figure YouTube and Google's algorithm or uh, compression would be better. But... That's not the case, man. I'm thinking I'm gonna really stuff this motherfucker with cotton. I don't want it to leak. I don't think that's enough cotton. That nah, should be good. It's a very delicate dance on, on leaking and then choking your coil out where it's not feeding. It's kind of why sub tanks really have become really popular. You don't have to worry about that. RDA, RTAs are, you know, very tricky. Yeah, this is, doesn't seem like it's gonna work. Element got me the wrong color, man. Come on. The brown one's way better. It's like Desert Storm. I need my Desert Storm vape. Mom, I want a vape. Hey, thank you for the follow, Pebs. Following on Twitch has its perks as well. All right, let's get a little primer going. Mom, I want a vape. Trump said something hilarious the other day. I have to try to clip it out. I said something so hilarious. I forget what it was. It was when he was slurring his speech. Do you guys remember that? He was slurring his, his words for some reason. Some people think he's on Adderall. And I said this... Uh, I said this uh, on my Twitter, my personal Twitter... 
some people were saying he's on Adderall, and I was like, I've taken Adderall, and uh, it does the opposite, I think. You know, it, it really oh, just, uh, it makes you want to talk a lot more, but it also makes your talking, like, very crisp and, like, detailed and, you know, rambly. I never experienced any slurred speech, but I guess you never know. I guess if you take it long enough, you never know. I don't. I don't think he's on Adderall though. That's some heavy shit. I feel like. I feel like you'd know. There would be no. There would be no questions about it. I hope I'm doing this right. I'm just kind of winging it. This is kind of how I like to 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 do my vaping. There's nothing better. I will tell you. There's nothing better than getting some new hardware, some new juice. Kind of just going in blind. Don't watch any reviewers. Just get your product and just kind of learn, just learn through just, you know, playing around with it and then finding like that right combo of hardware and juice that's just like, oh my gosh, this is excellent. This is excellent. I love it. I'm happy. Mom, I want to vape. All right, let's try to keep it open for a second, but I am going to use the choked down drip tip. So I don't have the chimney in. I don't have the reduced chimney reducer in, but I do have the choked thing. This is like, all right, you know what? This setup's kind of growing on me. I think that looks pretty nice. Let me see if I can. That's kind of growing on me. I think that looks pretty rad. You know, it's, it's no Geppetto. You know what I mean? This is a point three fuse clapped in. Uh, strawberry cream. This is my current all day vape. That's on, over on all, all the flavors. It's nichrome eighty. The coil is nichrome eighty. Uh, a 38 by 28, I believe, wrap, uh, fuse clapped in wrap. And it's oming out at 0 0.3. It's at 0 0.29, so it's around there. I got it at 45 watts. And the coil just kind of needs to break in. It's When it's wide open, it's very, it's, it's not as restrictive of, as I thought it was going to be. But that's kind of nice. Flavor's a little soft and muted. See, this is the problem. This is what I wanted to bring up the other day. The, I think the Citadel is is too good. I honestly have to try to get away from using it so much. Nothing compares to it. Other than like, you know, the Jenna gets pretty close. But the Jenna is like a different type of flavor. It's not quite analytical. Um, I don't know. Maybe I should start using the Pixie more often. Something that's analytical, but not so good because it's just so saturated. When I vape things in here, I'm like, oh, this is good. Perfect flavor. But then I put them in something else. I'm like, I don't taste anything. So, all right, I'm going to close this down. So there's a cool way that they do this. I like this airflow options. You can have it like that, or you can slide it to where it kind of just opens it up to like a little slit like that. I don't like how this screen's on the side. I'm not used to that. My I'm also left-handed, so my hand blocks the screen. I might have to use it in my right hand. Mama, not sure why they did that. I'm not sure why they did that. I keep wanting to look at the screen and there's nothing there. Yeah, choking it down seems to really help. This is the mouth to lung setting. Let's try the chimney. I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed so far. I might just need to break in though. We're gonna try the chimney on the mouth to lung airflow setting. It's still kind of open. So this is at like the second dot. That that That's how much airflow I'm getting. I don't know if you can see that. That seems to help. 
it feels very k fun like on that setting okay let's try the smallest setting yeah that's like a k fun five maybe a little bit more airy I honestly, I think I like the slot a little better. I can tell though that the chamber is a little too wide for it to be really good, for it to be like Griffin flavors, RDA, RTA style, you know what I mean? I love the Griffin. I think the Griffin is one of the better RTAs that has ever been released. And I got a fuse Clopton in there. I mean, it shouldn't have any, I shouldn't have any muting or softness. It should be pretty saturated, but I am getting a little muting. All right, there's too much shit on this table. See, I can't, I can't see the screen when I use my left hand. God damn it. I don't know if I like that. How's this wicking? Well, let's let let's let that chill for a little bit. Let's let that chill. Well, all right, next to the Citadel. It's not even close. It's not even in the same dimension. It's not even in the same dimension. Isn't that crazy? <clears throat> I do like this mod. I'm it's starting to grow on me. Can you tell me what build you put in your pixie? I really don't feel like the flavor is that Mom, impressive to be make. honest. I might just be building it wrong though. I do the same build that I do in my Citadel. Fuse Clapton. I love Fuse Claptons. I find that the flavor off the Fuse Clapton. I like Aliens too. If you can get Aliens, you know, they're they're great too. I don't know how much better an alien is compared to a Fuse Clapton, but Fuse Clapton 2838 Nichrome 80. I like Nichrome 80 because I can put it on a unregulated mod and um, you know, get some get some uh some some good power out of it. Um usually like four wraps, four to five wraps, which will come out at like a point two and a half, point three sometimes. And that's pretty good for me. That's what I have in my Citadel right now. I think it's at a 0 0.2, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, um, and I, I do the same uh, uh, across the board on all my RDAs. And usually if the Fuse Clapton doesn't work, I might try like a, I don't know. Usually Fuse Clapton is, is, is the way to go. I, I've, it hasn't failed me yet. I need to increase the, I can't see the chat. There we go. Get the tripod RTA by at Mizzou. Oh yeah, someone recommended that to me. I don't know if it was you, but someone did recommend that to me. Let me see if I can remember it. Tripod RTA. The best RTA, Jai Hayes. J I always say that. Jay Hayes. Best RTA ever made. Highest rated RTA ever. That was this year. Wow. At Mizzou. Tripod. It's pretty expensive, huh? Yeah, it looks pretty cool. It looks nice and clean. Let's look at that deck. Yeah, that looks nice. Yeah, I might have to pick one up. Nice. Highest rated RTA, huh? That's a nice that's a nice little uh that's a nice endorsement.
starting to come through. I'm starting to think that that chamber isn't closed down enough. I might put a bigger coil in there. I can tell like that chamber isn't closed down enough. Let's let's take this chimney off one more time. It's almost like when the chamber is too big. This is the problem with a lot of big RDAs. When the chamber is too big, I feel you. I feel Mama, like the air tastes this? stale. You get like a stale air flavor. If that makes any sense. So you still get the flavor of your juice, but it's just infused with like stagnant air, like. I don't know, like almost like exhaled air is a, is a better way I can put it, I guess. It's starting to come through a little bit. Not too impressed with the with the steam crave. What should we mix up today? What should we mix up today? Before we get into any of that, um. If you want to support DIY or Die, you enjoy the channel, you enjoy the live streams, the videos, the podcast, the flavor notes, the articles, the recipes, all of the stuff uh, that I that I produce. Great way to support me is heading over to liquidbarn.com and picking up my tastemaker one-shot flavorings. Flavorings such as quick strawberry malted milk, watermelon, which is a fresh watermelon, king's custard, butterscotch custard, and sans pétion, which is a blood orange champagne. You can also head over to eSigExpress.com where we have some goodies coming for you. Uh, you could pick up my Enyal Reclaw One Shot Collection, Funfetti, Honey Dewy, Misty, Obsidian, which is a cookie dough RY4, the coveted Rose Milk, Roski Milk, Rhodonite, Pistachio RY for you. And then you can go to Chef's Flavors and, uh, and uh, if you're in the UK or EU, pick up my One Shots over there as well. They're all around 10 bucks. Uh, Liquid Barn, they're from $5 up to $15. It's a great deal. It makes you up tons of e-liquid. Great way to support me. And um, it's a it's an excellent introduction into DIY, getting down the process before you start, you know, getting into flavor development and recipe development. This is, this is a great way to jump into it. So I appreciate everyone who's been saying nice things about the one shots and purchasing them and sharing them with everyone. Um, yeah, I, I couldn't ask for a better support group than you guys. You guys have been excellent. You guys have been just excellent, man. It's just awesome. You can also head over to my website where I post everything that I do. It goes over on the website, DIYOrDieVaping.com. My Twitter, all of my articles, all of my recipes, all, everything that I do goes up on the website. Hits the website before it hits anywhere else. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me for one second. I'm still sick. I'm actually... I went yesterday. I was a lot sicker than I was a couple of days ago. So it looks like I haven't been getting better. I haven't been eating healthy. I mean, my my 2020 started off pretty bad. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, my 2020 started off pretty rough. Mix that cantaloupe recipe that Bull City posted on Facebook. Oh yes, I know exactly what you're talking about. Um, I saw it on Instagram. So we'll go there. Head over to DIY or Die Vaping on Instagram if you haven't followed me yet. Let's see if we can find them. I know what you're talking about. They did it in uh, Comic Comic Sans. <laughs> there it is. They did it in Comic Sans. It looks pretty interesting. It's all flavor art. The weather outside may say hot chocolate, but we are thinking summer smoothies. Check out this creamy fruit smoothie using all flavor art and tell old man winter to kick rocks. You got cantaloupe, you got banana, watermelon, raspberry, vanilla classic, fresh cream, and Vienna cream at 1%. No sweetener. Um, <clears throat> just by looking at the recipe, it looks like it's gonna be quite cantaloupe heavy. I'm very curious as to what, what the hell that watermelon is doing in there. I I'll mix it up. I'll mix it up. Let's do it. It looks kind of fun. It kind of looks like a fun recipe. Good, good call, Kyle. I have a 120 of King's Custard steeping right now. Oh, yeah. I hope you enjoy it, man. If you haven't tried it yet.
Um, let me see. Yeah, where's the. Here, I'll play some music. I need cantaloupe, watermelon, raspberry. Is it on all the flavors? I don't think it is. F.A. Cantalope. F.A. Banane. Zero point eight per cent, huh? FA Water Malone. Zero point no, it's one per cent. 
FA RASP 0 0.3. Then we got Vanilla Classic. It's an interesting choice, 0 0.8. Fresh Creme. Vienna Creme. And then I'm gonna add some sweetener, 2 point, 0 0.25. Mom, I want a vape. Hey, Trekster, thank you for the follow. Put this up. You uploaded a video of Saint Pétion on your video channel? All right. Okay. Was it a review? How'd it do? Do you see that? Probably not. 10 mils, 60-40, 2% additives. Additives. And we're gonna get dripping, yo. Oh yeah, I love when my camera freezes. Oh, it didn't freeze. My computer froze. So, ha. Huh? Take that. All right, let's start dripping. You know, this actually looks pretty interesting. Whoever built this, this looks like a pretty interesting mix. There's a lot of chat going on. I'm sorry if I miss your questions. Um, let me just run through real quick. All right, no questions, no questions. Haven't smoked for nine months, only vaping. Congrats, ground vapor. Congrats, brother. That's what I like to see. You know, I was really proud of the group recently, the Facebook group. Head over to the Facebook group, the DIY Dive Mixers Collective, now just known as the E-Liquid Mixers Collective. But someone was talking about how they were craving cigarettes. And I saw a lot of support in that thread. And I love seeing that. Love seeing the support. It was actually one of the more uh, commented threads of the day. So it was a lot. It was a lot of people in there telling the guy, hey man, you don't need you don't need to go that route. It is it is pretty crazy, uh, the stranglehold cigarettes can, can have on you. Yeah, very, this is a very subtle recipe. Which is good. Sometimes you need subtlety. One drop will do. slap for you I mean there's no better slappage in the YouTube vaping community no one slaps better than your boy but I don't have to tell you that you already know you know what I mean did I really have to tell you that probably not it's I think it's implied YouTube is like, you can't even say the word shit or they'll fucking hold your comment. A little flick of the wrists. It's got an interesting aroma that's coming off of this. 
I'm gonna get a new scale. Someone in the Facebook group, the Facebook group has been popping lately, actually. It's been fun there. But someone posted it, by the way, and I think I know the reason why. I've al I'm, I'm allowing uh, hardware now. You can post it, you pretty much post it, whatever you want, as long as it has something to do with mixing or, or vaping in general. There's no more advocacy. You're not allowed to post advocacy to the, to the Facebook group. Only I or other admins and mods can post advocacy. So if you have something that's, that's advocacy focused that you want this group to see, you have to send it to an admin or a mod. There's people, too many people that it was just devolving the conversations into just bullshit politics. I had to ban so many people and um, there was a lot of duplicates. So I said, you know what? No more. I let only us post that stuff and then um, I'll allow hardware as well. So you can get into coil building and talk about your mods. And that really opened the group up and, and it's been really active in there and it's been fun in there. So uh, if you feel like the group has kind of been stagnant and it's, it's just, it's not that way anymore. We, we really opened it up and it's been fun. Anyway, someone posted a scale, like they bought like a nice like lab scale. And um, I've always th thought about picking one up. But I think I will because I do want to mix five mil testers and just save that little extra bit of money and, and materials. You can't really do that with this thing. It's a problem. This is a great scale, but I think 10 mils is like the smallest amount you can mix on this scale. And even then, how close are the measurements? You know what I mean? All right, this is the cantaloupe crossing. I want to see Bull City Flavors do more stuff. Like, let me like their photo. I want to see uh, Bull City Flavors do more stuff like this. I love to see. Oh, I love to see everyone doing more stuff like this. It's got an interesting aroma to it. Interesting in a bad way. It almost smells like ketchup, to be honest. I don't know why. It's got like a ketchup smell to it. Aroma miser, you're gonna have to go. I'm putting on my Entheon on top. Same build, fuse clapped in. This one's coming at 0.32. We're gonna have to turn this, I guess 45 watts is good. Yeah. I mean, that looks pretty nice, right? That looks pretty nice. That's a nice setup. I'm not, I'm not mad at it. You're lucky, Element. Otherwise, I'd be asking for my moolah back. Oh, let's do a little drip. It's pretty good. It's very subtle. It's a very subtle flavor art mix if you want a lot of flavor and saturation and vibrancy and explosions and dynamites and volcanoes of flavor this isn't it very subtle very quiet it reminds me of like a like a song from like i don't know it reminds you of like a song from like Joanna Newsom, if you guys know who Joanna Newsom is. Just like very quiet, almost kind of orchestral. There's a lot of flavors going on. I taste mainly the cantaloupe and the super sweet, <laughs> but I do get a little banana and I don't get any of like a, a, of that raspberry. I'm actually curious why they chose to throw a little raspberry in there. But it is like a summery, like, like airy, summery, soft, subtle mix. It's kind of nice. Nice change of pace from my usual. I don't know. I feel like my recipes more recently have been like pretty, pretty bullying, pretty bruiser, bruiser cruiser style. They kind of just like beat you up and get going. It's nice to have like a dainty, subtle mix sometimes. 
And that's the beauty of DIY, guys. Hey, you want to get dainty? You want to get subtle and soft? You, you can do it. You want to get tough and bruiser and, you know, ground and pound it? You can do it. I mean, there's, there's no fucking limit to what you create. You are your own limitation. Your creativity is your own limitation in DIY, which is awesome. Which is awesome. What other medium allows you to really get that intimate and that creative with your harm reduction? <laughs> nothing. There's nothing. There's, that's the answer. None. Good choice. Good choice. That's not bad. Good job, Bull City. It does smell like ketchup, though. So... I don't know why. I don't know why it smells like ketchup, but it doesn't taste. It could. It's the le le legitimate, the the complete opposite of ketchup in its flavor, which is interesting. Cowboy or McGregor. Oh. I don't know, man. I I have to go McGregor. I have to go McGregor because Cowboys just hasn't been looking very good, man. He hasn't been looking very good. Like he he's just looks like he's just been fighting just to kind of stay afloat, which is sad. Always sad to see. But you say that, and he's not. I mean, there's a reason why he's fighting McGregor, and. Look at Jose Aldo. Like, Aldo was in that realm, too. But now Jose Aldo is fucking killing it, man. Now Jose Aldo is killing I mean, even, like, Jorge Masvidal. Masvidal was kind of falling off before he's had this skyrocket explosion of success. So you never know. This could be Cowboys, like, rocket to Masvidal, you know, a celebrity. And he has the skills. He's tough. I don't know if Connor... Nah, I shouldn't say that because Khabib and Nate are just as tough as Cowboy. But I think McGregor is more technical and just a overall better fighter. And watching his training, he he's back. He he looks pretty good. Mom, I want a vape. I'm excited for it. I'm fucking excited for it. Cowboy needs this. Yeah, Cow Cowboy definitely needs it more than McGregor. But if I'm a betting man, which I am, I'm t uh, my money is on McGregor. I actually don't know the line. I haven't looked at the bets yet. I haven't looked at the line. I would like to see what the line is. I bet everyone's kind of giving McGregor the, uh, I bet you they're giving him the, the nod there. But if that's the case, I might actually put money on, on Cowboy. Who needs a question? I see someone needs a question asked. Who needs a question? Knuckle boy. Please try Crazy Cactus on ELR. I'm trying to get your opinion on this mix for half a year. All right, I'll do it. I mean, we might as well do stuff like this today. We could do that. Crazy Cactus on ELR. All right. You're in luck, knuckle boy. Don't like the name. Any name with crazy in it. Any name with crazy in it. I can't find it. Is it, is it not spelled that way? I don't see it anywhere. Did I spell crap? Did I spell it wrong? Maybe I'll type in Knuckle Boy. Is this you, Knuckles? Tony Ferguson is gonna beat Khabib. I, vape. I don't know. I I I I kind of hope so. I kind of hope so. Knuckle boy, I need the actual spelling of it. I don't see it anywhere. The problem with Khabib is, he, oh, what the hell? I did spell it wrong. All right, I see it, I see it, I see it. I'm an idiot. All right. All right, looks like you made this in June. Is this the right one? Let me know if this is the right one. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um. 
Now we'll do one. All right, let's give this bad boy a go. Yes, I'm actually, I do have a whole queue of recipes too that I should get to. There is a queue, so we'll do that. We'll do that. All right, cactus by anywhere. I guess I could play the tunes while I, while I search, huh? You guys mind if I do that? Crazy cactus, baby. Yeah. This looks pretty pretty standard of a cactus mix. I don't see any anything that's wrong. I see that uh I like the percentages. I like I I like the percentages. Some people might say your percentages are too high. I will not say that just yet. Some people really like real, just like real low percentages, you know. Some people just they're they're more sensitive to to the flavorings. I get it. Love me some Capella's lemon lime. And then you got sweet guava. Okay, I see where this is going. Some ice, of course. You're one of those guys. And some super sweet. Okay. You got two drops in here. did a podcast with Logan Vapes from the Rise and Vape podcast. If you guys want to go check that out, we had a great chat. He does a good show. It was fun. Fun talking to him. I had a great conversation. I will be bringing on a terpene flavor compounder. Someone who's in the business of, 
of terpenes and CBD and flavor development in that in that world. He's a professional. And I'm going to bring him on to chat about all that stuff with y'all. So you guys, anyone who's interested in that world, you'll get some awesome information. I'm going to ask him, you know, how exactly does he make his blends of, of terpenes? How exactly, uh, you know, all, all questions that pertain to that. So that should be fun. Could you scoot the recipe over a smidge? We can't see the percent. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Here, I'll do it like, I'll do it like this while you listen to some slappage. It's, uh, Innerware's cactus at 4%, Capella's lemon lime, 4%, Capella's uh, sweet guava, 4%, 0.6% of super sweet, 0.4% of WS23. Yeah, um, yeah, I got my money on Connor, man. All right, let's try Crazy Cactus by Knuckle Boy. I think it's pretty good. <clears throat> One second. I think it's pretty good. I think if you want some suggestions, I get a little soapiness from it. The cactus to me is a little soapy and it seems to be like the cactus and the lemon lime. You kind of get like a soapy, medicinal, cleaner flavor. Um, and that's ha really hard to prevent when you pair cactus up with lemon lime. What I would do is try to balance that out a little bit more. Maybe go either heavier on the cactus and pull the lemon lime down, or go heavier on the lemon lime and pull the cactus down. I personally would pull the lemon lime up and then turn the cactus down a little bit. Also, I would probably turn the guava up. So you're gonna get less cactus, and you might not be able to call it crazy cactus, but you'll get a better balance of flavors without it being so, it's a little soapy, it's a little It's a little cleaner, cleaner like. It is refreshing. And it is, it is refreshing, and I like that about it. I'm assuming that's kind of what you like about it, too. Oh yeah, you're right, man. Neil Pert, Neil Pert did die. Damn. Of what? He's 67. Was he sick or something? Brain cancer. Causes brain cancer. R.I.P. Neil Pert. Everyone knows Neil Pert. I, I shouldn't even have to explain who he is. Just type Neil Pert solo <laughs> into Google or into YouTube. You can get stuck in a rabbit hole. Every like 16 year old kid does that when they start playing guitar or playing drums. You type in Neil Pert solo, you're like, Whoa, my head is exploding. I didn't grow up in the era of Rush, but uh, I grew up in the era of YouTube, YouTubing Neil Pert drum solos. 
Have you ever figured out Ninja Man? Yes, check out my chocolate milk's recipe. Very close to Ninja Man. Very, very, very close. <laughs> yeah, he was insane. He was he was insane. Yeah, so on this mixed knuckles, I like it. I I I I I, I do think there's room for improvement, but I do like your combination of flavors and I like your where your palate is at and I like kind of how you're building your recipes. You're not afraid to push things up a little higher and use a little sweetener and kind of the same kind of style that I have, you know, that rough and tumble, ground and pound style. Um, and I, I think you can pull more saturation out of it and a little bit more of a balanced flavor. Get rid of some of those off notes and uh, eventually I think you'll have a really good mix on your hands. Sometimes people like to, sometimes people will name a recipe and they kind of get, when you do that, you kind of get stuck into that profile. So that's why I'm saying like, don't worry too much about the cactus name and making a cactus recipe. You can still make cactus work in your recipe and make it like a focus, but it doesn't have to be the focus of the recipe. You could, like I said, bring that lemon lime up, bring that guava up, pull the cactus down. That might balance out that soapiness a little bit or, or the opposite. I, I don't even, I would have to do some testing there but hopefully uh hopefully that's some 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 good criticism for you anyone else have a mix anyone else want to throw a mix at me i do have an actual list of mixes that we could get to let me see oh my god <laughs> this email is a mess what is all this <laughs> why why did i do this why do i do this to myself Um, where is that thing? Recipes. Rate my recipe. All right, we have on. We have one here. <clears throat> All right, I could do this one. This one is, it looks like a strawberry. Let's see. All right, I see some of you guys are posting them. We'll go, we'll go with some of you guys first. We'll do that another time. I would love to try the Milkman Hazel clone from ELR, but still haven't ordered the ingredients yet. Okay. Backwoods Honey Berry Cigar by Fat Cat Vaping. Do you want me to mix that? Is that your recipe? Recipe of the year. Yes, that video is coming soon. <laughs> that video is coming soon. I don't see a bat unless I'm spelling things wrong. I don't know what's going on here. I don't see a backwoods honey berry cigar. Oh, I know what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, recipe of the year. Yeah, I spoke about this. Um, coming soon. Coming soon, coming soon, coming soon. Do you want me to mix Joker Reloaded? I have it already mixed. That one's already done. All right, I see cookie cinnamon liquid, please. Is this something that you want me to make? Cinnamon cookie liquid? What's interesting is about, what's interesting about that, that Joker recipe is that, 
I don't know if I should say. I should, might just have to wait for the video. It seems to be. That seems to be like. Like that lemon tart, that lime tart, like that lemon cheesecake, lime cheesecake, lime cream, lemon cream. Very popular. That seems to be like the lemon or the mango this year was 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 uh those type of recipes. <clears throat> most people seem to like fruity flavors but i'm mostly into vanilla with some hazelnut and stuff like that any suggestions for on a recipe for that i mean you have your pick of the litter um i don't know if you've seen my what is it called Moo milk. My uh, vanilla almond milk. Um, type. Here, I'll just drop this into the chat. You might want to check this recipe out. This is a this is a recipe that I think you'll enjoy. It's like it's like right down your alley. <laughs> You guys have not. You guys are. You guys don't have any like recipes you want me to critique. If not, we're we're winging it. I see Scott McWade wants a honeydew mix. <laughs> Did you ever nail cornbread pudding? No, not really. Not really. That one is will need a little bit of more attention than a than a live mixing. You were helpful with the cactus. Would you like to try a strap on of your recipe? It's called Boosted Molina. Boosted Molina. Platinum blue. You know, I, I vaped the rest of that platinum blush. That The first version that you guys had. I ran out of juice one day and I was like, let me vape some of the platinum blush. Tasty. It is tasty. Yeah, the recipe of the year was was very difficult to to put together. It was very difficult this year. It was the most difficult year. Deliberating upon them wasn't difficult. Finding what recipes, finding the recipes was very difficult. Very difficult. All right, we're gonna wing something. We're gonna wing something. Since you guys are not helpful. Let's do. All right, I see some of you guys want like dessert profile. So we'll go dessert. We'll do some, some dessert. Hmm. We'll do some dessert. And we'll do 
Should I do my own lemon tart? Lemon lime tart? Nah. Let's do... Something with almond. Let's do something with almond. Yeah, marzipan. Yeah, we'll do. We'll do. I see you guys are are in this almond world right now. Let's do something with almond, marzipan, meringue. What can we do? Hmm. I kind of want to just do like a almond, an almond recipe, not like an almond milk or an almond cream or an almond ice cream or this and that with almond in it. Maybe just an almond honey nut bar this is tough it's tough to come up with recipe ideas on the spot i might have to start coming up with them before the show you know what i'm saying let's do that let's do let's do almond with i don't know Mom, I want a vape. We'll do almond with marzipan. You know what? I got I'm gonna do an almond sort of like I don't know, something weird with it. Let's get weird. Let's get weird with it. We'll do flavor art almond at 1%, flavor art marzipan, half a percent. Marzipan's kind of like a cherry though. Kind of got like a cherry note in there. I'll keep the marzipan out, we'll just do almond. New almond at one and a half. Salted caramel, well, what I don't like about salted caramel is that it's just, it actually has saline in it. It's just not. It's not good for your coil. But we. But I'll do caramel. I could do caramel with it. I'll do flavor arts caramel actually. And we'll do flavor arts butterscotch with that. The old caramel butterscotch. Wham Mom, bam! I thank you, ma'am. Thing. But I want to throw something like, uh, maybe I'll do an almond donut. <laughs> what do you think of that? An almond donut. I was thinking something like RY4. But we do a lot of RY4s on this show. When was the last time we've done like a... Well, let's do like TFA graham cracker. Do I have any more left? Yes, I do. Almond macadamia nut cookie, almond butter. I'm gonna do, I am gonna do marzipan. Do you have anywhere as marzipan? Of 
course I do. All right, this is what I got so far. What else can we throw upon this? Baker's touch, maybe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we'll do Baker's Touch. All right. Okay. Let's try this out. This actually looks like it might be pretty interesting. What's up, chef? Let's try this one. <clears throat> Let's see where this goes. Oh. 
pro tip, keep a napkin at hand all, at all times. I'm getting lightheaded, man. I'm starving. Your boy needs nutrients. This weekend, I can't even just like relax, really. I have so much work to do. All right, let's see where this almond bitch. Okay. Not bad. Little odd. A little odd. Very almondy. I want to try. I want to try it in the Citadel. Actually, you know what? Let me just crank this up. Sixty. There we go. There's something toasty about it. <clears throat> Something's getting toasty. Maybe it's the graham cracker doing that. It's kind of cool. It's like a, it's like marzipan nougat almond nougat toasty roasty toasty it's not it's not right though it's it's, it's not right but but I do enjoy it actually it's kind of like an RY4 a little bit Now what can I add, what else can I add to it? We're pretty much done. Something's off about it though. Did I like do something wrong? Maybe it's the baker's touch. Maybe that's not the right answer. <clears throat> um I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to add cheesecake to it. And we're just going to do it on top. <laughs> I don't feel like mixing a new one. We're going to add yes we cheesecake. I did a head to head of cheesecakes. Yes we cheesecake versus TFA cheesecake. Go check that out if you're a member. It's over on the website. And uh one thing that I can say about it is that yes we cheesecake is a much more pronounced cheesecake. But 
where TFS GTA is more subtle and soft and I think blends better, more betterly, we're going to do it at one and a half. So this is going to be an almond nougat honey cheesecake. How's that sound? I might have to add another cream on top. We'll just, we'll, yeah, we'll add another cream. We'll add Bavarian cream, TFA Bavarian cream. This is actually a lot. There's a lot going on here. We'll do that at one and a half. How about that? We're just going to drip it on top. Now doing so <clears throat> isn't always recommended, but if you kind of just want to get a feel for something, you know, you're not going to destroy anything. You don't always have to make a brand new mix. You know what I'm saying? We just want to play around. We're just having fun. Goofing. We're just goofing with the boys. See? Now you're done. So the reason we don't want to do that is because the ratios are kind of messed up. Your, I mean, your VGPG ratios are just a little off when you do that. But that's okay. Who gives a shit at the end of the day? Hey, maybe I should close the bottle before I shake it. I'm losing it. I'm losing my goddamn mind. Hear that goddamn slap, boy. You couldn't even tell what was what, could you? Does that shit like drip on me? No. Something's wrong with this mix. <laughs> the cheesecake does help, but I think the baker's touch is not right. All right. I guess we're gonna make a new one. We'll make a new one. It's the last one. I gotta get out of here. I need to go eat before I perish in front of you. I'm gonna bring the almond to one percent. I'm gonna get rid of the baker's touch. I don't think it's necessary. I'm gonna get rid of the caramel as well. I think the butterscotch will bring the honey note itself. I'm gonna get rid of the marzipan too. So what we have is basically an almond cheesecake, which I didn't want to do. But but when I'm, I'm gonna do it anyway, and you can't stop me, so so nana nana boo boo. <laughs> Has anyone ever said that to you? Unironically, nana nana boo boo. Mom, I want a vape. Yeah, Baker's Touch is good. I love Baker's Touch. Mom, I want a vape. 
who followed me. Shout out for the follow. <clears throat> that can't be it, is it? Is that all I did? I guess so. Ready or not, here I come. You can't hide. It's a long episode, man. I did not mean for it to be. I All the things that I do, I do this, I do another podcast. And I always say to myself, we're going to make it an hour today. It doesn't need to be so long. What happens? Two hours later. Mom, I want a vape. What did I just do? Is that an... I'm losing it. I'm losing it. This is what happens when you haven't eaten. I seem normal to you? <laughs> no, I'm I'm still like I'm still pretty sick. I'm gonna hopefully get rid of this cold this weekend. I actually feel like crap. I do feel like crap, but but the show must go on. Almond cheesecake commence. Much better. Mmm. It's not as almondy because the marzipan's not in there. Mom, I want a vape. But it is good. Thank you guys for the follows. Thomas Merrill. Lots of follows today, man. All right, well, that one's a win. That one's actually really saturated, too. That's good. See? See? That's what you got to do. Almond, 1%. Bavarian cream, 1.5. Butterscotch, 1%. TFA graham cracker, 3. Yes, sweet cheesecake, 1.5. That's it. That's all you need. You got an almond cheesecake. You're happy. It's good. It's delicious. Vape it up. You probably could add some sort of nougat almond marzipan deal in here, and it would probably work. <clears throat> but for some reason the other version I think it was the Baker's Touch it was giving me some sort of off note oh my god <laughs> whatever you do do not <laughs> do not hand back hand test marzipan oh my god whoa whoa Oh, whoa. Maybe it was a marzipan. Maybe it went bad. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Don't backhand test marzipan. It does not taste very good. Maybe a flavor art marzipan. I think the baker's touch was the issue. It was just clashing against something. I only had it at 5%. It really doesn't do that. I'm not exactly sure. That mix wasn't really working out. This mix is actually really good. Almond is such a fun flavor because it's so soft and fatty. It's like a fatty flavor. So if you want something that's going to kind of... it, Something that doesn't cut through anything. So it's almost like an after dinner sort of deal where you kind of just lay it on top. You're right? You know what I mean? It, it's not something that cuts through.
Yeah, that's a lot better. But it's not as fun, I guess. It's not as fun of a mix. I kind of want to add something else to it. No, we got to stop. That's it. I can't. I'll sit here all day. I'll sit here all day and mix with you guys. All right, everyone. Hopefully, I feel better next week. Um, yeah, you'll have your recipe of the year video next week. Um, I'm not going to call it recipe of the year. I should call it recipes of the year. You'll have your recipes of the year video next week. Um, what else will you have next week? You will have um, nothing, really. Nothing out of the ordinary next week other than that video. I will be doing the stream record deal again next week. I like how we, I like, I like, I've been liking that. So when I shoot a video, it's kind of like what I was doing with the, with the DIY or die show, except this is going to be just one segment at a time. So follow over on YouTube, press the bell. If you want notifications, when I go live, we go live for like a half an hour. I do the video. Then I, that video doesn't get uploaded. That video gets deleted. But then I upload an edited version of that stream, which is the video that I intended. So make sure you follow me over on all my social media and over on uh, YouTube and Twitch if you guys want to stay updated when I do these lives. I love doing them because, uh, like I said, it, you, I get uh, questions and feedback from you guys. And it allows me to really hone in the video because I miss a lot of questions if I don't have that feedback. So... Yeah, make sure you follow me and do that. Head over to my website, DIYRDiveVaping.com, so you can um, stay updated on all the stuff that I do there. And um, pick up my one-shots, eSigExpress.com, LiquidBarn.com, as well as Chef's Flavors if you're in the UK. Those are the spots to go. Do uh, keep, keep an eye out for some fun stuff that we have coming up. All right, everyone. I'll catch you guys later. It was a great chill. Had good time today. Keep mixing. Much love. Actually, before we get out of here, let's try the aromatizer one more time. We let it sit. I'm digging the I'm digging the the military mod. I like it. I wish it was the khaki version that I ordered, but what are you gonna do? We got this. We're gonna pump this coil at 65 watts. Let's do it. actually too high not impressed not impressed with the aroma miser not yet maybe I gotta play around with it throw a different couple builds in there and see what see what comes of it so far not impressed but the Sigeli's cool the Sigeli what's it called who cares they didn't pay me all right, I'll catch you.